ladies and gentlemen, is your host PropTune here, and today we're going to be talking about AI, and mostly about Rook AI, which are apparently being made right now in University of Cambridge's, and apparently they're more dangerous than Grand High Nukes, whatever that is, I mean, <laughs> I guess they're stronger nukes, I, I don't know, but they're more dangerous than a nuke. I don't, which absolutely blows my mind how stupid they are to even try to create an a, a rogue AI that's that dangerous. I mean, we already have fucking flying bots that blow up and destroy a human skull. Alright? We already have fucking flying bots, drones and shit. We don't need no AI that's they're more dangerous than a nuke. I mean, they turn on, you know, these ads, these commercials and stuff, and YouTube and TV or whatever, Netflix, these movies, and when you see them, you see that these robots look pretty nice, right? They, they make you think, oh, look at these robots, they're nice, they're gonna help us do everything, this is a new world, alright, this is a new generation, it's so cool, look at that, I can make it do whatever it wants, alright? I can make it, you know, cook for me. I can make it open the door for someone. I can make it, you know, bring me a cup of water and shit. You know what I mean? Like, dude, like, can you fucking go get a cup of water but to yourself? Do you really need a fucking robot to do that? I mean, sorry for my grammar if it sounds pretty bad. But honestly, dude, I, I'd rather just share this, share this information than, you know, study. I mean, I am going to study because I'm almost gonna go back to school but anyways that's not the point of this video the point of this video is that AI is gonna get much more worse by time by time and the new era of quantum computer computing is already starting which means and you know and I have a video um, that I uploaded earlier probably like a month ago by now about you know AI getting quantum computing and there's already a new era coming with computer um quantum computing so are they gonna add this new era of quantum computing in this ai's rogue ai's i mean i don't know they they could i mean i mean they're obviously will but that's just gonna make the rogue ai overly powerful it's gonna be able to destroy an athlete and bodybuilder like nothing i mean this is all bullshit all right they, they condition people with these movies where they show these robots, you know, acting all nice and all cute. So then they can have that in their head. So then next time, you know, these robots get released, these people are all going to want to buy some of them. You know what I mean? Like, they're all going to want to buy them afterwards. Because they have all that information or that info in their stupid fucking heads from watching these movies. That they're just gonna, they're just gonna, when they see these robots in real life, they're gonna think of the same thing from what they saw in the movies. It's stupid, and people don't think it's happening. People don't think that's actually what's happening in their brains. I mean, that's what exactly what the government is doing. They're planting seeds in your head, all right? They're planting seeds to make you think all of this is all nice. Everything's all, everything's gonna be fine, you know? No, nothing's fine in this fucking planet, all right? Nothing. Not just that, but they also want you to go, to move on to AI, to all this technology, then to scripture. Alright. They're hiding God, alright, with NASA. They're, they're hiding, they're hiding everything from scripture, right? They're even, you know, taking away Bibles from people these days. Yes, they're taking away Bibles from people. Alright, from this one kid, a seven-year-old in some school, alright, I was trying to give some Bible verses to his friends, but apparently the police, I think, yeah, I think it was a police or a principal, I don't know, they came in and said, shut the fuck up, give me the fucking Bible, and they took the Bible, and apparently, um, the kid never gave the verses to the, to his friends, alright, the point is, is that they're taking away the Bible, so they're taking away the scripture of God, 
and replacing it with Satan, with Satan, all right, aka AI, instead of scripture, aka God. So if you fall into this trap, you're going to hell. Because if you, after you fall to this trap, you're, you're going to want to stay in this trap. And there's not going to be any other way unless somebody else helps you. Alright? What I'm trying to say is that if you fall for going too much or buying or caring too much for AI robots instead of scripture, then not forgiving your sins or not going closer to God and Jesus Christ, praying for him you're going to hell because if you go and and just gosh I, I can't say I can't explain it but if you just decide to dismiss the God's words the God's scripture and join and rather visit you know the AI portion of our world which is the new generation you're going to hell. There's there's no doubt about it. Unless you make a change. Alright. AI is going to be the new world order. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. With technology. Phones. Facebook. Snapchat. Instagram. Twitter. Sorry for the ambulance. But it always happens. Alright. You, you know that. It happens in all my other. In all my videos. But yes. Alright. Facebook. You heard me. Every social media app. They're using all this stuff to get your credit information and plug it in so they can create an AI, including quantum computing, all right? Sorry for my grammar. Again, I apologize for my grammar. I'll study more, but that's not the point of this video. Again, the point is that people are going to start going more into AI than going to scripture because of how much... The government is conditioning people to make them think that AI is the best thing in the world when it's not. It's the worst thing in the world. They're making it look all, you know, like the best thing ever existing in the world. You know what I mean? It's just outstanding how people just fall for this. I mean, I hope you hope people watch the entire video because if not, I mean, good luck to those people that didn't watch the whole video. But the ones that do watch my whole video, I appreciate it. I love you guys, all right? Not in that way, but I love you guys as support, as audience, as viewers, as subscribers that really appreciate me. Because, you know, there's some people that just like to just click off and just dislike the video without you watching the whole video and giving... And knowing what I'm actually talking about. With the proof and stuff. And evidence. With logic. People are just so dumped down with the school system as well. Um, they're even giving out these Bibles. Not these Bibles. These books. That says that there's bad things in the Bible. Like sexual fucking stuff. Like there's this one book that, that was released in some schools. I don't know where. I think it was in Germany. I don't fucking know. But... This book was released in a school, alright, and the book was just all about the Bible having sexual um, harassment stuff in it. I'm unbelievable. They're, they're trying to make, you know, the Bible look horrendous. They're trying to make the Bible look like a bad thing to read. They're making, they're mocking Jesus all the time in TV shows and stuff, and they're making Satan look better. And people just still don't understand that or see that. You know, I've been learning this for many YouTubers. Yes, you may think they're all conspiracy theorists, but they're not. It's true. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen how stupid these people are sometimes. These zombies, not even humans, these people, not even people. These zombies. Alright. That rather look at this AI... And get this AI by them, you know, and rather worship the Antichrist, the mark of the beast, than just worshiping Jesus Christ, God, and, you know, reading the scripture. In fact, I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be using the, the Holy Bible as my homework. I'm not going to be using any other book. I'm going to be reading the Holy Bible. How is that? 
I hope you guys do the same thing, because if not, then I don't know what you say. Do research instead if you have to. And Google. You know, read some articles in Google about, you know, the Bible verses and stuff. Try to find, like, a holy Bible in Google, and then you can read out, out of it as, from there. Anyways, folks, I just wanted to make the video on this. Sort of, again, for grammar. I appreciate the ones that watch my videos entirely and don't skip the videos. Sort of for, you know, the pausing and stuff of me. It's just that, you know, I'm not really a great English person, you know, even though I'm from America. But, you know, I'm still learning. Sorry if I sounded very stupid in this video, but... I just want to get on the information, you know, I want to be part of this group. I want to be a part of the truthers group because I want to share the information I've been learning instead of the information that I've been learning in school because in school, that's all, again, an agenda. Check the channel, uh, A Call for an Uprising um, 2 is his channel name. I recommend going and visiting his channel because he's the one that really taught me all of this and knowing more. And getting closer to God than I ever did. You also may want to check Paul Pigley. His channel is in my channels bar or whatever. Um, Paul Pigley is also like not really a much of a truther, but a person who reads the Bible and stuff and knows a lot of the end times. And again, Paul Pigley and a call for an uprising are the two channels I recommend if you want to get closer to God. All right, so you can start learning and, and then start realizing. That we are living in the end times and that these people are actually conditioning us. Sorry if the video was a little too long, but I had to make a video on this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.